the basic, um, uh, so I think he always changes about things, but in terms of the basic idea, the book was called The Company, A Short History of a Revolutionary Idea. And the basic idea behind it was that actually the, this boring institution, um, the company, the joint stock company, actually was a revolutionary technology. It took an idea about a way to run businesses, a way to be able to bring in outside capital, and above all, the idea of limited liability. And that actually completely transform the world. If you, if you want an example, going back to what we originally said, you know, when, when the joint stock company first appeared back in, I think, Elizabethan England, and then you know, helped in many ways colonize America, at that precise time, you would argue that the Islamic world had much, much more advanced commercial structures than, 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 than the European, Anglo-European world did. What happened, in fact, is that the Islam got left behind. And one big reason for that was they were unable to come up with a structure, partly to do with actually reasons to do with religion and inheritance and stuff like that, which could actually deal with joint stock companies. And that, make, that made a big difference. So I think the company is still an amazing organization. What, what comes out of the current crisis about it is harder. I mean, you could argue that, to some extent, when you looked at banks, the concept of limited liability hasn't gone right. I mean, it has been very limited liability for the people at the top of them. Um, the, 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 the full way in which capitalism was supposed to work, whereby people who, um, who did very well were then supposed to lose a huge amount when they went. It's true, people at the top of banks have, have lost quite a lot of money, but there's still a general feeling out there that, um, uh, that people have got a lot for nothing. And what, what, what intrigues me on that is a particular thing to do with the, the company, we, you know, we argue, is a revolutionary organization, but it's always relied on some degree of a franchise from society. Whenever companies, whenever corporate capitalism is seen to go too far in some direction or another, there's usually, not always for the better, but there's always been some degree of backlash. There's always been some degree of, you know, we want this back. And, it, and it's worth remembering, actually, you know, companies exist because of the state. They exist because the state decides to give uniquely to a company the concept of, of limited liability. If you go bust or I go bust, then that's, you know, that's, that's us personally. But a company has that ability just to keep all its debts within itself and the people behind it not to be, not to be hit for the, for, 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 for the full bill. And that, that, is a, you know, that, that is a privilege given by the state. Um, and although, in general, I'm much more frightened about there being far too much regulation after the particular, this particular episode we're still going through, um, yeah, but th there's, there's a reason, at least conceptually, to imagine why people might want to re-examine that, that relationship. Mm -hmm.